Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, you'll learn how to enable email forwarding in Outlook to redirect messages from one email address to another automatically. The email ticketing system is widely used by organizations to provide client support services. Outlook is a popular choice for email service due to its enhanced security features, mail management, seamless integration with Microsoft services, and customizable settings. With Boldesk's email to ticket feature, businesses can efficiently integrate their Outlook support emails into Boldesk to automatically convert incoming emails into tickets. For more information on configuring the support email channel, follow the documentation link in this video's description. Now, let me show you how to enable email forwarding in Outlook. After adding the business support email address, a forward email is generated. I need to copy it for use in the forwarding settings. Next, I log into the Outlook account and click the gear icon in the top right corner to open the settings page. Then, I navigate to the mail settings and select the forwarding option. Next, switch on the toggle button to enable the forwarding option. In the forward my email to section, I paste the bold desk forwarding address. I can keep copies of forwarded emails by marking the keep a copy of forwarded messages checkbox. Finally, click save to finish the setup. This email needs to be verified after the email forwarding is set. To do this, open the Bold Desk account and navigate to Emails under Channels to open a list of added support emails. Then, click the More Actions icon next to the email and select the Verify option. On the window that opens, confirm email verification and click OK when the verification process is completed. Please note that if your messages bounce after setting up the forwarding, it might be due to Microsoft 365 spam protection blocking automatic forwards for your organization. Therefore, in such scenarios, contact your Microsoft 365 administrator to enable external forwarding. To know more about how to enable external forwarding in Microsoft 365, follow the documentation link in this video's description. And that's it. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like it. Thanks for watching.